Do your stepper motors ever get so hot you can't touch them? Well, get your pen and paper, I'm going to show you how to fix it. These fans are considered active cooling, which means there's a heat sink with a fan blowing air across it. Passive means that there's just a heat sink, but there's no fan, and the ambient air just pulls heat through it. Alright, in my application I have an Ultimaker, but all 3D printers use these stepper motors. I've learned that depending on the speed of the print, your stepper motors get hot. Now, if you're printing at a slower speed, they actually get hotter. If you print it faster, they don't run as hot. With my Ultimaker, I experienced those stepper motors getting really hot when I had longer prints, around 8 hours or so. Alright, now that we know there's a problem, how do we fix it? You guessed it! Heat exchangers! To get these to work effectively, you have to attach them in a way that they can reject the heat efficiently. I initially wanted to print a bracket that would hold the cooling blocks to the stepper motors, but there was just no room between the stepper motor, the build platform, and the chassis. These thermal pads are essentially double-sided sticky tape that allows thermal heat to transfer through them. Alright, so how do we wire all this up? As per usual, we tump the Ultimaker over, run wires from the stepper motors down through the pre-existing wire looms down to where the control board is. I then soldered the two wires together into a Y connector and found a 19 volt plug labeled heater. Now all I have to do is solder the fans onto the other end of the wires. Heat shrink is awesome. I use that crap everywhere. Now that everything's wired up, all I have to do is mount them to the stepper motors. I use rubbing alcohol to clean both surfaces so the thermal pads would stick. Alright, with the surface prepped, let's slap those thermal pads on. Then stick on the cooling block. Well, that's one down. Two more to go. I repeat the process, cleaning the surfaces, sticking on the thermal pads, and then putting on the heat exchangers. And I do it again for the extruder. Alright, look at this active cooling goodness. Now to test the fans and make sure they work, I turn on the Ultimaker and see if they're spinning. Oh yeah, they're spinning, they're cooling, they're doing their thing. You can see that I have just enough clearance between the build platform and the heat exchanger. Alright, now I've got myself an actively cooled Ultimaker that will not overheat. Sweet. I would highly recommend this mod to anyone with a 3D printer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please help me out by subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting down below. All that good stuff really helps me a lot. What you're seeing is the evolution of my cooling fan shroud. Now this has been quite an adventure with some screw ups, with some achievements, with some failures, but I was hoping to get a video done this past weekend. I apologize for not getting that all together, but I've been having some troubles with some wiring issues. And these aren't your typical wiring issues. These are issues with PWM signals giving interference noise to my K-type thermocouples for my hot end. Crazy stuff. The wait for this video will be worth it, I promise. There's lots of good things that I learned to do and not to do when messing with cooling fans. So make sure you're subscribed and be on the lookout for this video. It's going to be a doozy. Thanks, guys.